Hi guys, an important holiday is coming up. Do you know what it is? Listen, listen. Can you hear it? You don't know what that is? Let me show you. Oh look, that's a Christmas tree. Christmas is coming. So let's have a lesson about Christmas and holidays. Hello, my name is Maddie from POC English and in this lesson we're going to learn some vocabulary and idioms related to holidays. We're also going to walk around London together to see how the city has changed in this period before Christmas. Now, before we begin learning, let's go for a walk, shall we? I love the Christmas decorations and especially how the city changes when we get close to Christmas. Right now, we're going to go to a very famous street in London, which is called Oxford Street. I want to see how it has changed and I want to take you with me. As we get close to Christmas, people go out a lot because of the holidays. It's just a very lovely period. To go to Oxford Street, I'll have to take that bus. Let's go. That beautiful building behind me is the Royal Albert Hall. That is the place I will graduate in about nine months. And on the other side, we have the Hyde Park, which is a very huge park, but honestly, I've never been there. There is my bus stop and I have to take number nine. While I'm waiting for the bus, I think it's a great idea to head back to the studio and continue this lesson. Welcome back. Now it is time to learn. The first word we're going to learn is reunion. Now, what does it mean? Let's say you have some relatives that you haven't seen in a long time. The last time you saw them was perhaps two years ago. So now it's before Christmas. For this Christmas party, you have decided to invite them so that you can have a reunion. A reunion is basically a gathering of people that haven't seen each other in a long while. For example, at our family reunion, I met some relatives I didn't even know I had. A word similar to reunion is gathering. Now, a gathering of people is similar to a reunion, but it has a slight difference. A reunion is for people that haven't met for a long time. A gathering is basically some people coming together for a purpose. Now, that purpose can be to celebrate a holiday. For example, we're having a small gathering at my house to celebrate my birthday. The next word we're going to learn is ceremony. Now, what's the difference between ceremony and a holiday? A ceremony is a formal event to celebrate a special occasion. For example, you can have a graduation ceremony. Look at this sentence. The graduation ceremony was long, but it felt great to get my diploma. Now, sometimes during a ceremony or during a holiday, you may have a feast. A feast? What does it mean? A feast is a celebration with many different types of food. So it's basically like a party, but a party for eating. You prepare a lot of different and tasty and succulent dishes. You invite a lot of people and then you have a feast. You talk, you laugh and you eat. Our family prepares a huge feast every Christmas with lots of dishes. Oh, you know what? The bus has arrived. Let's go. There it is. The iconic double-decker bus of London. I love going to the upper deck because you can get an amazing view of London as you are there. I finally arrived. This street is called Regent Street. There are lots of Christmas decorations, but because it is not dark yet, you won't be able to see them. It gets dark pretty quickly in London. Actually, right now it's a quarter to three. Uh, at around 4 p.m. it gets dark and they just turn on all the lamps and lights of Christmas. As you know, during Christmas you have to buy a lot of gifts. You will receive a lot of gifts as well. Wow. Let's just walk that way. It looks amazing. And look at this bike. They just go around, play Christmas songs and Christmas carols. So amazing. To go home, I've got to go this way to Piccadilly Circus. Look how beautiful this street is. Lovely. And that was it. I hope you've enjoyed the vibe and atmosphere of London during Christmas. And now let's head back to the studio. 
Welcome back! Now, before we continue this lesson, let me tell you something. If you like my YouTube videos, then you will love my courses. As you know, I have two main courses, the General English course and the IELTS course. If you want to improve your general English knowledge, that is, if you want to improve your grammar or your vocabulary, if you want to learn a lot of idioms, and if you want to receive a lot of tips on fluency, the general English course is for you. This course is from beginner to advanced. My second course, the IELTS course, improves your four main skills of reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Together, these two courses will take your English from an absolute zero to a hundred. Now, I also have a third course, which is a mini course, the movie course. This is a very fun way to learn the most common phrases you may hear while watching a movie. Hmm, and it's close to Christmas, so we should have a discount. Hmm, how about this? The general English course, together with the IELTS course, plus the movie course, for only 99 pounds. That is right, you pay the price of one course, but you will get access to all of them. But remember, this offer is only active until Christmas. So if you want to join me and improve your English once and for all, hurry up. All you have to do is to click on the link above my head. Go to my website and read all about the courses and the offer. All right, let's get back to our lesson. And in this part of the lesson, we're going to learn some idioms. The first idiom we want to learn is let your hair down. Let your hair down? What does it mean? It means try to relax and enjoy yourself. Let your hair down. It's the weekend. Time to let your hair down and have some fun. A similar idiom to let your hair down is this one. Put your feet up. Your feet up? Yes, it basically means to relax and to put your feet up. After a long week of work, it's nice to put your feet up and relax. Idiom number three, all the bells and whistles. Now this one is very Christmassy. It means with a lot of extra fancy features. All the bells and whistles. The new Tesla Cybertruck has all the bells and whistles. It means it has a lot of fancy features. Do you remember the first word we learned? A reunion. Now, during a reunion, what do you do? Because there are lots of people that you haven't talked to for a long time. What do you do with these people? You start talking, asking questions. Hmm, what have you been up to? You try to catch up with them. To catch up with someone, what does it mean? It means to talk to people after a long time to find out what they've been doing. Hmm, I should perhaps catch up with my uncle sometime. I haven't seen him in ages. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, click subscribe. See ya.